Welcome to josephsmithspolygamy.org, the audio version. This website explores the period of Mormon history dealing with Joseph Smith's practice of polygamy and its initiation among the Nauvoo Saints. It is the first online site completely dedicated to presenting this topic to a mainstream LDS audience written from a faithful perspective. History, esoteric theology, and controversies are all covered. The purpose of this website As we have spoken on this topic in various forums, the most perplexing question we have fielded is why we feel a need to defend polygamy. Perhaps it is unexpected because we don't see our work as a defense of polygamy so much as an effort to enhance understanding of the history of Mormon polygamy. Some may be disappointed that it is not an offense against polygamy either. While we may be uncomfortable with some aspects of the narratives we share, We generally reserve commentary and criticism for other websites. These criticisms are tackled in detail in the three volumes of Joseph Smith's Polygamy, History and Theology, Greg Coford Books 2013, should you be interested. Avoiding Presentism Exaggerations and assumptions have dominated frequently accessed texts, podcasts, and articles posted on the internet. The temptation to fill in the gaps in the historical record often results in distortions that stir up emotions and create tantalizing sound bites that may in reality generate unnecessary fear and confusion. Editorials analyzing the details through a 21st century lens haven't been particularly helpful either. The early saints were different from us, so we shouldn't expect that they would think or behave as we do. Cultural historian Robert Darton warned that when looking at history, we must be prepared for culture shock. Other people are other. They do not think the way we do. And if we want to understand their way of thinking, we should set out with the idea of capturing otherness. We constantly need to be shaken out of a false sense of familiarity with the past. Too often, we see criticisms waged that are based on anachronistic thinking measured against 21st century mores. In our writings, we attempt to situate those seeking understanding firmly in the 19th century, the time when these events unfolded. Context and accurate information can assuage some common concerns. While some of the marital choices Joseph made seem odd and difficult to comprehend, reading the accounts of the participants adds a Nauvoo framework to begin to understand the purpose of these ceilings. That is not to say that the practice of polygamy was any less shocking to the early saints than it is to us now. The difference is that we may not see ourselves agreeing to such a prospect, yet some did. After studying the lives of early saints, we've grown to admire the conviction of both those who accepted and rejected polygamy. We have also mourned with those that faced remarkable hardships. For a people familiar with trials, Plural marriage was perhaps their greatest. The Prophet's Wives Few aspects of Joseph Smith's life have been scrutinized in recent years more than his practice of polygamy. Having questions is natural and is not necessarily an indication of a lack of faith. Both Brian and I started our research because we had questions that we wanted to answer On this website, we share some of what we have learned in a collection of essays. It is our hope that while readers may not fully comprehend why plural marriage was practiced in the early church, they will absorb more context, learn more history, and move toward a better understanding of Joseph Smith's practice of plural marriage. To access a brief narrative of the unfolding of the practice of polygamy in The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Proceed to the essay on Joseph Smith's practice of polygamy. For a more complete treatment of the topic, please read our book, Joseph Smith's Polygamy Toward a Better Understanding.